What's up guys, it's Marquez from the MKBHD channel, back with another high definition video review for the Droid Dog YouTube channel. And quickly before I get into this video review, I want to let you know I'm doing this video on a, an older uh, low end phone. I do have a newer phone, but the Motorola Droid, uh, just to demonstrate how this particular piece of software works on low end hardware. Obviously you know it's going to work really well on high end hardware. But what's really impressive about this application is not its graphics or its speed, uh, but how addicting it is. So this is called SpeedX 3D as you can see by the title and there are a couple of really unique things about this but basically I'm showing you this game because this is one of the few uh, one of the rare or more novelty like games that end up being uh, more fun to play than uh, than the average game. So I mean this this game the way it's set up really makes me want to beat my own high score. It's kind of difficult to explain it has that angry birds or tiny wings factor. I can't really uh, put it into words for you. So you can see there's some techno music in the background, but basically it's kind of like a combination of Snake and uh, I'd say, hmm, not exactly Tetris, but it has that cube-like work uh, effect. So I'll go ahead and play one level for you just to show you guys how it works. Uh, basically there are different stages. I haven't gone through all of them yet, but there are multiple levels just like Angry Birds. I'm just gonna go ahead and play. As you can see, the goal is, as you tilt left and right, to get as far in as you can uh, without hitting any of the blocks. So you can see that you get a little warning by the stripes when the blocks are going to come along. There are all different types of uh, blocks that you can come across. And at this point in the game, it seems really, really simple. You know, there's not a whole lot of different obstacles. You have a fair amount of warning time to get out the way. But as you get further along or down more stages, uh, it gets really difficult. You can see it unwraps here. There are different types of things. that will roll up the other way into a cube. All sorts of different things. And, uh, I mean, this game retains its fun-to-play factor for a really long time. So uh, I felt like showing you guys this game. So, of course, no, now here it's rolling up into a cube. So, this game is really playable on the Motorola Droid, which pretty much implies that it's really playable on any other high-end device, especially those with a big screen, the Tegra 2 processor with the improved graphics, etc. But really, that's the only thing about the game. I, of course, run over to the right too far. Uh, you can see that it has these neat little effects when you touch the text. There are a few options you can change, turn vibrations on and off, turn music on and off, stereo 3D on and off, etc. And you can also sign into Open Faint, which I will disable. But if you're signed into that, you can actually share your high scores with other people who are playing this game and see you know, where you rank in the world, etc. Uh, this game is free in the Android market. Like I said, it's called Speed X 3D, and that's about all there is to it. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of updates come along its way. But this has been a pleasure to demonstrate for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.